Do you remember Diem? Facebook was gonna launch a blockchain platform, but was going to get sued by the government, so they stopped. Diem is now Aptos, and is the newest addition to the list of hundreds of blockchains. Aptos recently made a lot of news for their airdrop of 150 APT tokens, which was worth several thousand dollars depending on when you sold. And people sold it immediately. And if you want to learn where you can find airdrops like this in the future, you're going to want to stick around until the end of this video. Now when the Aptos token launched for trading, the token price dumped immediately due to all the selling. People were running for the doors as soon as they got their airdrop. That's because many people, including myself, think the project is currently overvalued. But before you make that conclusion, you need to know what is Aptos, the Aptos coin tokenomics, what value is there in the coin, and should you invest in Aptos? Before we begin, none of this is financial advice, just educational material. Please do your own research and form your own opinion before making any investment. What is Aptos? Aptos is the next generation of layer one blockchains that can process up to 160,000 transactions per second. But at the time of making this video, they're about at 33 transactions per second. And that's because no one's using the network. It is still in its very early stages. And if we look at its current fully diluted market cap, it is sitting at about 7.3 billion dollars which is pretty high considering it just launched so we'll cover if this coin still has any more potential a little later in this video now if you're not familiar with what a layer one blockchain is that's just a blockchain that can process smart contracts so you can run decentralized apps or create tokens other examples of layer one blockchains are Ethereum, Cardano, Algorand, Solana, Elrond, Phantom, Avalanche. There are, there are a lot. There are a lot of different blockchains that do the same thing, but each of them have their own value based on who's using the platform, what's on the platform, what's available, and who they partner with. So at the moment, Aptos is still too new and its fully diluted market cap is significantly higher than a lot of its competitors. But what makes Aptos special? What makes it unique? Why do people want to be involved with Aptos? Now, the key difference is for Aptos, for it to reach its ambitious TPS goals of over 160,000 transactions per second is their method for processing transactions. They use a method called parallel execution, a method of ordering and combining transactions to rapidly accelerate the process. With that in mind, VCs had some very high expectations, so we saw investments from A16Z of $200 million and FTX with $150 million. They invested a lot into a blockchain that no one is using. So obviously they're gonna want to pump up expectations for this so they can get out with some profit. And that is just allegedly, I don't know if they're doing that or not. Uh, not an opinion, I'm just saying that could happen, don't sue me. And uh, let's just move on to the tokenomics. Now the tokenomics of Aptos are still in its theoretical phase. And when they launched the token, the tokenomics weren't even public yet. And if we look at the official Aptos tokenomics overview on their website, aptosfoundation.org, and we scroll to the very bottom, disclaimer, this is not an offering or the solicitation of an offer to purchase tokens. This document contains hypothetical, forward-looking, and or projected figures which are not guaranteed. Actual numbers may vary. Aptos makes no representation or warranty, express or implied, as to the completeness or accuracy of this presentation, and it is subject to change without notice. That is a very scary disclaimer, which tells me nothing about the project, because all of it can change at an instance and they have this out. So that is very scary for any investor to get involved with this project, because you don't know what's gonna happen with the tokens, they could just change something they could just dump everything on you i'm not saying that's going to happen but is possible and looking at the initial supply of 1 billion tokens 51 percent for the community for staking rewards and some other stuff which we'll get into in a moment core contributors 19 percent foundation 16 percent investors 13 percent 
and that's kind of what it looks like. Now the funny thing is, Aptos was called out for allowing staking prior to other people getting their tokens, so investors and the team could stake their tokens and they could get their rewards early, even though that their tokens are locked up. Now this is a pretty common tactic for seed investors and the team to get liquidity from the project, and it works like this. You buy the token and you stake it for rewards, which are cool, so that means you are getting more tokens over time, but the team and investors are also doing the same thing with a much larger stack of coins. Even if the team and investors have their tokens locked, they can still receive and sell any staking rewards. So with this much staking available and this many rewards, it's not really surprising if we see the coin drop in price over time as more coins are released for staking rewards. So what value is there in the Aptos coin? Well, the tokenomics don't make it clear about everything you will be able to do with it since it's still all hypothetical. But like other blockchains, the value of the Aptos coin is for transaction fees. We'll need to see a lot of valuable dApps, those are decentralized applications, on Aptos to see the demand for the Aptos coin. People need to be using the network, there need to be a lot of transactions for the Aptos coin to have value. Potentially there could be other things that they create so the coin has value, but we're gonna have to wait and see until that happens. Now going back to the hypothetical tokenomics, Aptos is likely doing this to avoid a potential SEC lawsuit. But I'm not sure if what they did is actually much worse by not giving potential investors any clarity about what the project is before listing the coin. The Dan take, what do I think? And I think we've seen this before with Internet Computer, when they launched the price just dumped. And that's because this was also a heavily backed VC project uh, with a product that people weren't using. I kind of see Aptos turning out to do the exact same thing because the valuation for Aptos is incredibly high. So we like to look at the fully diluted market cap if all tokens were circulating and it has a fully diluted market cap of $7.4 billion at the moment. And Aptos is competing in a space with a lot of other blockchains that already have things built on it. So it is competing in a very saturated market. There are hundreds of different blockchains to choose from. And for anyone to get involved with Aptos at the moment, they would need to have some very good decentralized apps or some potential big partnerships that would get users into their ecosystem. And again, looking at their fully diluted market cap of 7.4 billion, I would personally rather get involved with Polygon, which is at 8.4 billion. They have a bunch of partnerships, they scale Ethereum, and there's users. It has uh, things you can do on there. So it really doesn't make sense for Aptos to have this kind of valuation this early at launch. I know it's actually 1 billion for the circulating supply, but once more tokens are released, I don't think we're ever gonna see it at a $7.4 billion market cap again, because the price will likely, in my opinion, decline over time, and they're gonna have to do something very big for the market cap to ever go above 7.4 billion again. But that's just my opinion. Maybe when you see this video, the price doubled. I don't know. I'm just some guy on the internet. So personally, I think Aptos is a very high risk investment at the moment, but it's nice that people that were participating in the testnet got a big airdrop. The airdrop was worth thousands of dollars depending on when you sold it. And the only thing it cost you was time. You just had to get involved and use their testnet or mint one of their NFTs in their testnet and you got Aptos tokens. Now, if you want to look for future potential airdrops, I recommend going to DeFi Llama, selecting airdrops, and these are tokenless protocols that may airdrop. That means these are projects that are actually running at the moment, they haven't launched a token yet, and if they do in the future, they will likely reward people that were using their product and they were a part of that ecosystem. So I would recommend getting involved. And as you can see, there are hundreds of different projects. Not all of them are gonna give you an airdrop, but the more you do, the higher your chances. So you wanna look for the more reputable projects. Thanks for liking the video.
And let me know in the comments if there are projects you want me to cover in the future that may potentially give an airdrop. I have a few in mind and maybe you can get a lot of value out of that, but I also need you to engage with this video so more people can get value from this content. And if you want to see some more good content on how to get crypto for free, you can check out that video. I'm also creating a workshop that shows you how I do my research and there will be a link in the description for you to join that waitlist. And with that in mind, I hope you got your full value for today.